I literally walked into Mr. Bertman's, well actually, they just handed it to me and said, this is what you're playing since you're a bass clarinet player. And I walked into his office to do my audition and it, I could barely get a note out of the thing. So it was a rough season in trying to learn it and actually be able to play. I even chipped my tooth. I remember the rehearsals during that week. We still rehearsed. We were actually very busy that week. And um, we had done a candlelight vigil one night and, you know, kind of, you know, said prayers and, you know, had our moment of silence for all of the victims. And um, I remember some point that week was also the first day that they allowed the planes to come start flying again. And I remember in the middle of this marching band field, we all just like, you know, scream like little school kids as Southwest planes were headed back to Hobby because it was just this wonderful feeling to realize that, you know, our world was finally kind of getting back to the way it should have been. So one of my most favorite traveling times of all, we went to the um, University of Louisiana Lafayette and it poured down rain. Like we could, the woodwinds couldn't even play. We ended up having to put our instruments away and we literally were like just little school kids playing in the rain. <laughs> you know, it, it was a blast. Like we won the game. It had to be postponed for a while. So we went under the, you know, part of the stadium where it was kind of covered and we played this big like concert thing for everybody. And it was just echoing everywhere. It was crazy, but it was fun. And you know, it, it took forever for us to get home and we were soaking wet the whole way home back to Houston because it was another day trip. <laughs> and you know, but it, it was just so fun. I ruined my parents' brand new digital camera. They'd only had it like a week, you know, back when those were like so expensive and <laughs> I ruined it <laughs> with the rain. Our colors were obviously red and white. I wouldn't have picked any other color. It was pretty much obvious from the get-go. Um, we actually left the chapel to the fight song. Um, everything about our reception was red and white, fight, fight. You know, his groom's cake was a U of H cake. We did everything we could to incorporate our alma mater. You do develop this certain friendship that you just can't break you know it's just it's just stronger than anything that I've ever experienced you know I mean I have great great friends that I've had since I started at U of H that I will have for the rest of my life and I have that marching band to thank for it